In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Contact Form 7 acceptance box, which means that people have to check the box before they can submit the form. This is most often used for legalese like terms of service, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever, you get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. To add this acceptance feature, it's really simple, but you do have to have a contact form seven form. I don't have one yet. I'm gonna assume that you do. If you don't, click on the card that just appeared and check out how to build contact form seven forms. When you have one, either open it or click on add new under the connect or, or under the contact menu item. And we're gonna create a new form. Contact form seven creates a simple one for you. I'm just gonna call this basic form. And I'm going to just paste in some code that is actually from the Contact Form 7 support website, linked to in the description down below. I'm gonna paste in this code, and all it really does is this short code does some fancy JavaScript stuff, which makes it so you can't click the send button unless you check the box. So I'm gonna click on save changes over here. If you already have this form embedded on a page, that's all you have to do is add that snippet I don't have it in a page yet, so I'm gonna just create a new page, add this form to the page, and then that little snippet will be there. And I'll show you the functionality. So I'm just gonna paste in that code. I'm gonna call this acceptance form and click on publish, and then open this page. And it should be all done and ready to go as is. So if we fill in just some test information here, and we click on the send button here, it doesn't work. I can't click the send button until I check this box. Then I click send. So where it says click here if you accept these terms, you wanna have your own custom text there. You can make this a link to your terms page, for example. And by checking that, they're basically saying they have read and accepted those terms. Then they can click on send. And then the send functionality works as it should. They don't check that box, it doesn't work. It's a pretty cool little feature, very simple to do as you saw. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.